to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Okay, it's been a while since I've been here making the videos for everybody. Uh, a lot has happened <laughs> since the last few videos that I recorded. Um, in the interim of all of that is that the fourth book is now with the publisher. So uh, I've done everything I've needed to do. I've um, proofread the whole book. We've sorted out the cover with my daughter. We, we choose it together now and uh, it's really fun. Uh, to do that. Uh, uh, actually, she's the one that chose the cover too, Easy Mind, Easy Life. So uh, we chose it together. I tend to pick five or six that I really, really like. And then I put it to her to pick the ultimate one. And um, she always picks, yeah, the one that's spot on. Um, this time I was actually down to two and it was really hard to choose between the two. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we picked the right one. So it's been really exciting. I can't wait for that to come out. The good news is that with the new book, we actually get 50 ebooks that I can give away. So once they come out, it's all done. It'll probably be closer to October, but you know, it's a few months away. Um, what will happen is I can actually give away, you know, to each hundred subscribers, one free ebook of the new book. And then from there, I guess, you know, people can decide that if they want to read the others, they're all different. <laughs> you know, I go through it and I think, oh, because it's, we keep evolving, we keep changing as we grow into more, right? So uh, the first book was really my view of, you know, my past. I wanted to write down all the events of my past and, um, and really understand the gifts of why I had to go through all of those things. So that's basically the first book. The second book was a download, you know, um, the angels and source wanted me to write that for you, for you to use that process in your own life. Again, it's the next level to how I finished the first book, you know, um, there's, there's a different level of awareness happening in that second book. The third book is really beautiful. It's just, um, meditations you know they're, they're just little each page has one meditation that you can sit with for that day and let it fill your heart with the simplicity of that meditation you know of how simple this life really is it's not meant to be that complicated you know it's the mind that complicates everything um the fourth book a lot has happened since I've written the first three books and the third book was kind of in the middle of all of the experiences I was going through that are now in the fourth book. You'll see in the fourth book it talks about me being in the middle of writing this third book because that one was only published in December of last year and it's what June, July now, August. Um, by June I already had the fourth book written. Uh, I don't know how I, I knew it was going to be fast. Uh, as soon as I was told to write that book, I just knew it was going to be like, because that's what happened with the second one. The second one, as soon as, it's funny, I started writing the first one and I thought, oh, that'll be it, right? It's my life story. What else have I got to write about, right? <laughs> Nothing else could possibly happen that I'd want to be writing about or that they'd want me to be writing about, right? Uh, and, but I finished the first one thinking, you know, with these voices telling me, that I will be writing more. There'll be other books. And I was like, oh, I don't know. You know, there was nothing really I could think about that I wanted to write about. Uh, the second one was just a download. You know, I just felt this urge to sit at my computer and just start writing without, I mean, I think the book starts that way. <laughs> I have no idea what this book is going to be about, but I keep getting pushed to write it, right? So I thought, okay, I'll just give in to the voices that tell me that I need to write it and just go with it, right? They want me to write this book, let's write this book. Uh, the third one was pretty much the same. I kept getting all these little meditations, all these little ideas, you know, throughout the course of the next two years after I wrote The Covered in Yucky Mucky Mud. And I had this notepad and I would everywhere I would go because the ideas sometimes come randomly when I'm not expecting it, you know, for for books and I have to write it down. So I'm constantly now used to walking around with a notepad. And uh, it was my dear friend in New Zealand, um, when I was sharing all the beautiful experiences I was having in the last two years, I remember one day I shared something with her and she said to me, oh, she said, you so have to write a book about this, you know? Because every time I would share with her, we would just feel like we were in so much love, you know? Um, 
it just made us feel so happy and uh, it would just fill our hearts with so much love. We felt so expansive, you know, through all these beautiful experiences that I was having. And uh, so, you know, uh, things happened. <laughs> and then I was asked to, you know, um, I had a special guide that came in towards the end of last year or well, beginning of this year. I'm trying to think now. No, beginning of this year was the new guide that came in. And, um, and I was told, you know, I was shown in the Akashic Records a book with blank pages and she told me I needed to start writing again. And I thought, okay. <laughs> and again, I was guided as to what they wanted me to write about, what it was that they wanted me to share with you. So I'm um, really excited for that book to come out now. It's really beautiful. And I don't know if the written word will have the same impact as my recordings because when I would go through these experiences, I would send different recordings to different people depending on who, you know, was affected by the experience. And yeah, it was always like, wow, at the end of it, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping that the written word will be just as, to be honest, you know, I've had to read it now about four or five times. Once you go into the process of publishing, you have to read over it and read over it and find the errors, you know, things that you want to correct, things that you want to change, things that you want to add before the very last, that's it, it's being published, right? So I've read it about four times since I first talked to the publisher saying, I have the fourth book now. <laughs> and each time I feel as I read it, of course, I had the experience and so I relive the experience and I feel like more expansive, like more love, like more joy, like, you know, more infinite i just i can't explain it but there's just something about these beautiful experiences that they wanted me to share with you and by they because you'll know once you read the book uh, of course i'm talking about the angels you know so uh in the next video i want to talk a little bit about that um just so people are clear when i talk about angels or guides or whatever it is that you know um that talk to me about, you know, um, these videos, you know, a lot of times I'll sit down and I have no clue what I'm going to talk about. And then I just wait. And then, you know, they will tell me, okay, talk about this. You know, this is important. And I'll be like, okay, let's go with that. And, uh, I just see where it goes, you know? Uh, but there's always something wonderful that comes out of it. You know, once I just let go and let it flow, you know, to wherever it is that they want to take it. So, yeah, let's talk about what angels are to me, how I understand them, uh, guides, all of this. And um, it's basically what the book is about. It's helping you understand that we all have guides, right? Um, I call them angels or specific archangels that I work with. Um, I see them a certain way, uh, but we all have guides. So let's talk a little bit more about that in the next video because that's what the whole new book is about it's very exciting and um yes remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video bye for now